Hey everybody! Hope everyone's staying nice and healthy and safe and inside. Maybe outside if you're practicing social distancing but you're not with a bunch of people. Anyway, um, I decided that I would love to put out a couple of workout videos for y'all. As you know, we're all cooped up, cabin fever, but it's no reason for us to stop our flexibility growth and our um, fitness goals. So for today, look at my boobies, um, <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and do a short-ish workout video with you guys. I would like to call this one, it's dedicated to my flexi friends, um, sweating while you stretching. And the reason I like to call it that is because I think it is very, very important before you go into trying to bust splits and bridges and all of your fun, flexible stuff that you need to have a very warm body. Um, you have to have a lot of active flexibility and strengthening of the muscles and not just sitting in stretches. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a lot of stretching-ish things that also um, cause you to have to really, really work and give you a nice workout and get you sweating a little bit. So, Alexa, play. We're going to start off with um, some exercises, um, standing up, and then make our way to the mat. All right? So, if you can get join me, standing up, we're going to go ahead and get nice and warm to Cardi B. So, hands on the hips and neck, neck, right, left, right, left. You probably hear your head cracking a little bit. You've been working at home all day. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, left and right, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, another set, two, three, four, five, six, seven, add the shoulders, and one, two, three, get into it, this is party B, this is party B, girl, we want to go ahead and get really into it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, roll forward and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, add the hips. Now, y'all, we're gonna get nice and warm. Try to be all having fun. Dive even deeper. One, two, three, four, add the neck. Six, seven, Eight, one more set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now with twist and down. Up, down, up, twist. Your spine, look at the wall. Mutch, let's go. Two, one. One more set. Two, and three, four. Oh, you're sweating. Five. Seven, eight. Let's act like we got baby stallion knees. Here we go. Down. Squat. Down. You guys are all squatting. Seen all your videos. Squatting. Now, like we're about to ride the D. Let's go. One, two. Well, you don't have to ride the D if you don't ride the B. Five, six, seven. One more set. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, hands to the ground, and up. We're gonna go ahead and trace our hands up. All right, we're gonna keep going because we wanna make sure we're nice and warm before we go ahead and do our stretches. Arms out to the side. All right, and over. Because you're nice, stretch down your side, keep the hand right where it is. Four, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's switch and go, and one, ooh, I'm coming down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all right. Almost to the end of the song. All right, let's get low in the knees and go ahead and grind it out. Woo, so we're already 
for one set each direction. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Going the other direction. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep that squat so your legs are working. Four, three, two, one. Whew. All right. However you want to get to your mat, I'm going to go ahead and crawl since I'm seeing ring light circles right now. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you got the blood flowing a little bit. I'll back the camera up so we can see a little more. So hopefully you got the blood flowing. You're feeling really good. You're uh, in a place where you can, you know, concentrate and stretch. So let's go ahead and meet me on your stomach. The whole purpose of getting nice and warm is because if we're going to do a lot of stretches and put a lot of strain on our muscles, we don't want stiff or cold muscles. So. Let's start with focusing on the back, and in, in, in that we're incorporating shoulders and parts of the hips. So these exercises are meant, like I said, to strengthen um, our back and, and get the back muscles nice and uh, blood flowing. So start by joining me on your tummy, but don't fall asleep, bitches, because we got work to do. Go ahead and put your hands to the side of your body, um, like. You're gonna like use the floor for a little bit of your um, leverage. And just take a leg to isolate and we'll just do a couple of sets of leg lifts. The point of this is to get that butt nice and engaged, get that hip feeling nice and open. All of this power isn't coming from this kick, right? I'm not just like wildly kicking. I'm engaging, I'm pushing my hips toward the ground and I'm using my butt to lift the leg. So. Starting here, we want our chest on the ground. Raise for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. See how nice and steady? And one. And keep it up here. We're going to pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Bring up that other leg, four, eight. Ooh, see how this one's more open? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it at the top and pulse for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Give yourself a nice little counter stretch. We're going to be doing some nice counter stretches in between so we make sure that we're folding our muscles both ways. But you should definitely be feeling that stretching while you're sweating. Coming back. All right, we did our bottom half of our body. Now it's time to do the top and eventually pull the mic. All right, standing from here, we're gonna just start by just getting the shoulders nice and warm, pushing up into what would be known as our cobra. Remember in our cobra, our hips are pushed down onto the floor, crotch onto the floor, toes glued to the floor, nothing coming up, nothing weird. All right, from here, let's just do some shoulder rolls so we get our shoulder blades nice together. So bring the shoulders up to the ears and push them back so you can feel your shoulder blades touching behind you. Roll up to the ears, touch the shoulder blades behind you. For eight, seven, should be pretty good on the arms too. Six, Five, four, see I'm seeing, I'm feeling that sweat. Two, and one, you see the sweat on that nose, the sweat on my nose, man. We're gonna go the other way by pushing the shoulder blades back, pushing the chest through, and then rolling it up to the shoulders. You'll almost feel this like more in the back than you did your arms the first one. So, eight, seven, keep looking up, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. Get those arms nice and give them a break. We were using them for these wrists, but yeah, you should feel pretty warm here. And now we've gotten a lot of arm engagement. So part of getting those shoulders nice and warm uh, is to get to, to a point where we can like have our strap, our back be at the strongest point possible. So. Um, Hands to the side, we're no longer lifting up using our hands, we're gonna lift up using solely this. 
So while this is not a um, passive flexibility stretch, right, where we're just like, okay, we're here, we're like getting deep in our bend, to do it without hands is going to require me to have a little bit of active flexibility and use the strength of the um, back muscle and the spine to lift you up. So the easiest way to do this is hands close to the chest, and we're going to go ahead, elbows in, and lead with the chin, always leading with the chin with your movement, using back muscles to come up for eight. Glue those toes to the ground if they're going to want to come up. Seven, six, ass up, face down. Four, this part you can this is lit. Three, two, and one. Let's go up one more time for good luck and just hold it. Hold it, listen to Cardi B. She said, ass down, face up, and at the top. All right, hands down. Same counter stretch we did earlier. Spread those knees apart so we can go into a nice child pose. I'm just shaking my butt because I love Cardi B. <laughs> Coming back. Coming back. All right. One more thing before we go ahead and add both hands. All right. So, now we're here. You should be able to feel pretty warm. If there's not sweat dripping down their face, well, maybe you're just better than me. I am a very fat person, so maybe that's why I'm sweating. <laughs> but this should definitely be a workout. Go ahead and take your arms out in front of you. This should make the exercise just a little bit harder. So instead of coming here, where we're like, woo, 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 we're going to add a little more weight in front of us by extending the arms. My palms are facing each other like these. And it's the same motion, just might take a little more effort. Feet glued to the ground and up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold for three. Two. One. Woo! Are you awake yet? Are you sweating yet? Is your back feeling real open yet? All right. Woo! Ready for the next thing? Last thing we'll do here on our bellies is combine. Remember we did the leg. The leg coming up behind us. And we're going to combine it with the same movement with the front. So you'll probably notice that you won't get up as high. And that's cool. This is like meant to really, really strengthen those muscles. Um, in that back. Oh no, our ass up face down. Thing is up. Face down. Okay. What is our next song in the Cardi B playlist? I don't know. Let's see. All right. Like I said, we're going to be bringing um, them up at the same time. So what it'll be is if I'm lifting my right leg, the right arm is going to try and meet it. And so, like, really high level contortionists will do this and they'll, like, grab their foot. Uh, we're going to get there eventually. Uh, just trust me. Eventually, we'll get there. But as if you were trying to grab the foot behind you. So let's go right side only for eight. See how close I am to grabbing it. Seven. Six. My other arm is just on the ground relaxing. Five. Oh, wait, no, that was six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Ah, oh, reach like you're going to grab it. See how close I am? Oh, just kidding. Other side. But again, the other side is just relaxing. Arm forward, now lifting up with the left for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Hold it, try to grab it, grab it, grab it. And now. We've been doing a lot with that back. And actually, for this counter stretch, let's go ahead and give ourselves a very brief half tortoise, as I learned from Bikram Yoga. So you're sitting in your on your knees like you're in a kneeling position. Take the arms up next to the uh, shoulders, next to the ears, and let's just give it a nice little hinge in the back, so we can be about here. Well, it might not have the best form ever. My half tortoise is kind of shitty. 
but this will be a nice little counter stretch to all that upward motion that we did. So tuck the chin to the chest, straighten the arms. And when you're ready to come out, you're using your core to bring your upper body up. Woo! Ha ha, we're only 15 minutes in. See the sweat, see the sweat. That ring light really brings out the sweat. All right. Hope you're feeling really sweaty and also a little, at least a little bit bendy. Okay. So. Uh, 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 uh. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. This is a break. That was a dance break. That's cool. We back to business. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do some exercises in this position. Again, meant to kind of um, target these bad boys, these hip flexors, which everyone's always like, I mean, how am I supposed to do the splits? Well, you got to get them hips nice and open. So we're going to do a couple of exercises in this position, which will lead me eventually into like the harder uh, version of um, hip rotations in a, a down dog, but we'll start here. Okay. So from here, we're going to go ahead and, and open up these hip flexors. It's going to be real sexy, okay? And if you've ever taken a private with me, I've probably made you do these. Hey, <laughs> hey. So, coming from our very favorite, and this is going to be so famous on YouTube, you guys, because look at me, I'm just like crotch to the world, right? So, in order to get our hip flexors nice and um, rotating for that kind of position, we're going to start in an L here. Um, with our body at a 90 degree angle. I got a little chub chub, so it's not quite at 90 degrees, but it's close enough. So from here, I'm resting on my elbow so I can open this top leg. And the bottom leg does not move until this is at its maximum. Whoop, it's at its maximum, this is gonna float off the ground and then close. And do you see how I did a transfer from one elbow to the other? So obviously this is meant to like open you up in that straddle. Oh daddy. Just kidding for, for yourself if you want it for yourself. <sighs> so we're gonna just do a set of 10 or, or otherwise like five each way. All right, so we're here. This is one, slow, slow, jiggle maybe. <laughs> open, close, that's one. Here we go, open, 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 then the other leg comes up to, and if you're me, you can just like keep your elbows on the ground all the time, but once you get all the way shut, now we're going for three. And if you want to be super sexy with it, you can add some movements in there. Yeah, I'm Cardi B, da 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 da, mm-mm. Or you can just go do your thing. Okay, that was four, right? Oh, Jesus, you take well. Five. Halfway through. Slow it down, Miss Vegas. Be a good leader. Was that five, six? Eh. This is a real good throwback, Cardi I said, man, Cardi And I like to deliver. I think we have to do three more. How does that sound? Whoa. I lost count. I don't know if you were counting. And two. This is such an attractive video, you guys. Ew. Last one. Make it count. You can do some sexy things with it. Let's go. Open it up. Open it up. I'm some quarantine food right there. I'm Good stuff. All right. You probably feel a lot of nice, uh, nice little bit of soreness in your legs, especially if you've never done an exercise like that before. <sighs> I have a little creaky hip, so sometimes I like to counter it with a little bit of, you know, windshield wiping, like bringing your knees up and tilt it to the side. <sighs> Bring the knees up. 
tilt it to the side. Mm, 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 mm. And if you want to do it a little faster, just to like kind of, kind of counter the rotation that we just did. All right. How are you doing? Howdy. Oh, hmm. Should we change the music? Alexa, play Lizzo. Shuffling the song by Lizzo on Amazon Music. Shuffling by Lizzo on Amazon Music. All right. Sweet. Let's keep. Let's keep it up. This one is uh, meant to strengthen that same like hip rotator area, but also um, get us like even more into the leg and trying to build the muscles in the leg. Because although you're like, oh, I'm gonna be open and flexible and I'm just gonna slide into a split. Yeah, that's all great. But what helps you slide into that split is the openness of your hips and the strength of the muscles in your legs to push. All right, so I'm gonna scoot back for this one so you can see this. And then again, if you've taken a private with me, we've done this before, so you're welcome. Now it's free. Okay. Um, and if you've ever done like, if you're like a ballerina or whatever, you've probably done this exercise in your class. But essentially, we are going to lift our legs in this straddle position as high, about as high as they'll go, using nothing but the strength of the tilt of our hip and the muscles in our legs. All right? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we just had to take a moment to like sing uh, the song. Okay, so the way this works is the same hand as leg will go behind the leg. Uh, the closer it is towards your bum, the harder this is gonna be, or, or the closer it is to your crotch, like the easier, the further out you go, the harder. That's what I meant to say. So the opposite arm is obviously in front, so I have one arm behind, one arm in front. I point, you see how I point? See what happens when you point your toe? Try that, just try that. Just try to point so hard and put the back of this knee on the ground that it lifts this bitch in the air. Oh, my foot's on the ground. Ooh, my foot's in the air. My foot's on the ground. Put it in the air. And that's all my goddamn muscles, okay? So, the way this will look is I'm placing a little bit of weight into my hands, squeezing through that glute and using the tilt of my hip to get the leg off the ground. Ah, and yours might not go up as high, or if you're way better than me, your foot might go really high. Um, but the point is that it moves. Even if you're going like, eep, 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 that's fine, you're working the muscle, and I'm proud of you, because you're sweating while you're stretching. So, we're gonna do 10 on each side. Ready? Go get this man. I think he got lost in my DMs. Uh -huh. Five, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, keep it pointed, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the tenth one we're going to hold. We made on the juice. Let it down, nice. If you need to like rub it out, this might hurt, rub it out. Take the other side, here we go, point through that toe. No better come off the ground. Ew, ew, ew. That's some active flexibility right there, bitch. Okay. We're gonna go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I bet you're feeling good as hell. Nice. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. If you ever want to do this, we won't do it for today, but if you want to ever take it further or you feel like that was too easy for you, you can add a block underneath and you can make yourself go over the block. Okay? You can also hold it in the air, not come down. Do a lot more of like this step. All right. We'll do one more set. This time we'll bring both legs in the air. Are you fucking right for this? Okay. I will tell you, if this is very difficult for you, you can put your palms behind you, right by the butt. If it's right in front of you, it's going to be much harder. The further out in front of you, it's going to be way harder. If you're super, super flexible, you might be able to do this and bring the legs up. If you are one of the people who has to put the hands behind the back, please do not cave your back, okay? Don't curl your back and end up just like curving it to bring your legs up, right? You still want to have your chest pretty upright. So I'll demonstrate for you. And if you're one of those superstars who have their hands in front of you, more power to you. All right, let's go. Lifting both legs up. See how my toes are pointed? 
five, six, seven, eight. I'm on the ground day. One, two, three. I'm not coming up as one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah! And as you can see, I kind of lean back just a little bit, even though I'm hard not to. But that's what you're trying to fight against. Fight your urge to go like this, because then it's not the same exercise. Woo! Bet your legs are feeling nice and good as hell. All right. Girl, did you know we've been working out for 25 minutes? Ooh, girl, did you know that? I didn't. Okay. This next part, I'm going to scoot back a little bit more so you can see my whole body. See the pole in the way? I made sure you could do this exercise without a pole, just in case you don't have a pole. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this over. We're gonna, this, this particular exercise is going to come from down dog. If you have not been to yoga, don't know what down dog is. Very simply, making your body into the shape of a triangle by placing the palms on the floor and the legs behind you. Now, some people might have a little bit of flexibility issues. That's okay. If, you're, if your down dog is more out here because it hurts your legs, you can bend your knees a little bit in this down dog. But we, we do want to be as triangular as possible. So my toes are a little bit close to my hands. So we're here. Let's just hold it here for a second just so you can feel this position. You can start going, why not, why not, why not? Pedal those feet out. Pedal. Now, come on to your tip-tip toes. Feel what that feels like. You should probably feel that more in your shoulders. Coming up to the tiptoes, you want to tuck our chin to our chest, and you'll feel that nice right in the shoulder blades. Just keep that shrug in the shoulder blades while you bring your feet down. And let's just continue to do a couple shrugs here. For one, shrugging the shoulders to the ears. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now let's get your hands nice and involved. You can go ahead and child's pose for a second just to give your arms a break. I want your arms to feel nice and engaged. We did a couple things earlier for the upper body, and now we're doing this. I want you to, if at any time your arms are feeling fatigued, return back to this position and just hold, because we want to make sure that our shoulders are feeling good, tucking our chin to our chest, so that you get a shoulder stretch here too, in addition to the wrist strengthening you're getting. So, how are we gonna turn this into something stretchy? Well, we did do a little bit of hip rotating earlier, so we're gonna take this down dog, let it be both a shoulder opener and a hip opener and hip rotator at the same time. So, coming down to the palms, up on the feet. We want to see if we can get this foot, this, uh, uh, if you're going to be on one leg, it needs to be nice and stable. So if you got to scoot it out so it's a little more stable or scoot it in, that's good. So we'll start with lifting the leg up. So maybe yours won't be as far. Maybe yours will be more here. You can go ahead and turn the, as you can see, my hips are not square. My hips are not facing the ground. My hips are facing you, right? So what we're gonna do here with these unsquare hips is take the leg and draw a circle. Yeah. Aha. So the way this works, if this is really hard for you, the like if it's just too much on your wrist, too much on your shoulders, a lot on your knees, you can always meet us here in a tabletop position and do those, whoops, my pole is in the way, do those circles here. You will get the same rotation benefit, and it'll be easier on the shoulders, okay? So you have two options. You're either in tabletop or you're in down dog, but you're drawing circles with that foot. So here we go. We're just going to do five on each side since this is a little bit harder than our other exercises. So one, coming forward. Two, three, four. I love this song. And five. Woo, hold for one second. And we're going to go the opposite direction. So forward and over. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! I hope your arms are killing you. I'm going to show you. Second set, 
you can continue to do it the way you were doing. I'm going to show it in the tabletop position for our other friends who might have been doing it that way. So coming uh, front and back, we're going to go one. Woo. See how my foot drags across the floor more? Two, three, four, and five. So if you're doing that one, it might be good socks. <laughs> you're going to brush against the ground. Other way, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Woo. Well, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and give it a nice little counter right here. So we were just doing a lot of um, rotating. So we want to go ahead and just like come here to this uh, kneeling position um, just to get a little bit of that tension out. And rest the hips forward. <sighs> We're not gonna go full camel here. Like we don't need to do all this. Like this is just to help release a little bit of this crotchal stuff. What I have my phone. So since we're here, let's do a couple sets of thrusting and then coming back and down. So thrust up at the top, that's one. Come to seat toward the ground. Two, you can rest your hands on your um, legs, you can rest them on your hips. Three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. Hold forward, and you can start to look back a little bit. You don't know if you need to go crazy to your maximum. For ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Where the hell y'all from? Close again. All right. So we've done a lot of rotating. We've done a lot of bending. We've done a lot of strengthening. So in this last couple minutes, let's just try and get everything in a place where we can like combine it all and feel ready for stretching. Because the purpose of this video was to get you nice and warm, ready to stretch. Even though this was a lot of eye count, this is stretching, a lot of active flexibility, right? Whew, so meet me here in your butt. Well, I've never heard this song. All right, so hips, check. Low back, check. Shoulders, check. Um, back, general, um, lower, middle, upper, check. All right, so from here, we're gonna do a couple of, um, a, a couple of <clears throat> prerequisites um, to like a split and a back bend, since I did do a lot of uh, body parts that would help for those. So we'll start very simply with um, the kind of splitty thing, and then we'll end with our little back bend thing. All right, let's do back so you can see me. So we're back in our straddle. Pick a side you want to start on. I'm going to start on my right. I really don't care which side you start on as long as you do both. So I have my straddle. I'm going to grab this foot, see if I can move it further out. Start to bend towards it. As I start to bend my chest towards that leg, I'm going to tuck this leg, right? So I'm tucked here. And I'm going to take my hands, go to the outside of this leg. So it should stretch here. You should feel this pretty well. It should feel nice in the back. It's a nice counter to what we've been doing in our back. And it's a nice stretch in this front, front leg. All right. This is where it gets kind of tricky, and hopefully you're warm enough to do this. If not, I will give variations. So hands to the middle, front of the crotch, behind the butt. Pick it up. Now, if you can, take the other hand to the front so you can kind of roll over into this fake ass split. And I will also show you from the other direction. So here we go. I picked this leg. I was doing this, right? I had my thing here. One hand here, one hand up front. And a lot of it will go into your knee. So if you need to like put padding down below the knee or, or uh, have a knee pad ready, I come up a little, and then I put the hands to the side, so then I end up in this 
and go ahead and untuck those, those um, shoulder blades. So I'll leave you with this. Our final stretch ends up being like this, like I said, this bridge, this yoga bridge, which helps out for later videos when we go into our full wheels. So once again, fingertips toward the heels. Lift those hips up as high as you can go and walk those shoulder blades in. Matter of fact, if you could interlace your fingers beneath you, even better. Let's hold here for 15, 14, 13. Look at the shape. Let's go. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. My hands are coming on them. 3, 2, and 1. You want to put your hands flat? Let's do it again with one leg up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch, ten, nine, eight, straighten that knee, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and relax. Woo, cool down. You could stay on your back as a part of your cool down. I'm not going to judge you. I'm a hoe. I stay on my back all the time. <sighs> Take the knees to your chest. Give yourself a nice little rock. Forward and back. You come on to each side, too. Woo! And the other side. Coming all the way up. Ooh. Ah, nice little wrist rolls. Bring your hands together and give yourself a nice little figure eight with your wrists. You roll out your neck. We've done some neck stuff. All right. And for our last minute here, you're either going to lay in Savasana or supported Savasana. I like to do this one with the block. If you don't have a block, you can also use a pillow or you can just lay in spasana. It's really nice. So I put the block right against the butt sheet or the top of like the butt crack. Lay on over it. And as you can see, it gives me a nice little support here. And it's a nice release because we did do a good deal on our hips. Just holding here. Alexa, pause. For playing music for us. For bringing us Cardi. This is Ray Stemmons' rock song on Amazon Music. Thanks, Alexa. Alexa, pause. And I think with that, we perhaps. Martha, come on out nice and slow. You know, I am a super slow myself. So, thank you for tuning in. I'll be making more videos as we go on. Um, and I will also have some uh, other ones more targeted for purchase, but I will continue to release some free ones for you to enjoy on my YouTube channel. So like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Look at me. I'm on Twitch or something. Um, anyway, I think that's Take care, kids. Stay healthy. Stay, uh, you know, active, even though we're all inside. We're all in this together. Um, uh, much love to you. See you guys on the gram or on YouTube or Facebook.